you know, when people talk about high recovery cylinders, you know, heavy duty cylinders, as we used to call them, about how much coil there is in there. When you look at this one, this is from Oso, who are Norwegian, I believe. Just look at the amount of coil they got in here. This is the new unit that we've got coming to market soon. It's already for sale in Scandinavia. Uh, we also export to North America, Canada, and everywhere else. This unit has been developed with Microsoft, and it will learn the customer's usage. The algorithm inside yeah. will predict using MET forecast data, it's got temperature sensors top, middle and bottom and the algorithm will learn how much water the customer needs but it will also talk to a stock exchange basically for energy. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And it will decide when to buy the energy for. Now the good thing about ours is that the energy efficiency of the unit and the type of insulation that we use, our units will lose roughly 3 degrees centigrade over 24 hours. Some of the others that's on the market will lose 10 to 15. So conceivably you could buy the energy for this at two o'clock in the morning and it'll still be up 24 hours yeah, later. Yeah. The other thing that this will do is heat to 75, whereas everyone else's tanks will only heat to 60. And because we heat to 75, there's a blending blend valve, valve there, yeah. built in here, yeah. which gives us a higher amount of usable hot water yeah, compared that's, to that's, anyone else. That's, I've, I've done this quite a lot with the blending valve because obviously if you, you're higher temperature, you don't need to have quite so much capacity. So if you're limited for space, so this is 200 litres, yeah. but if you're heating it to 75, you're basically giving yourself, what, another 20%? Well, it's 33. 33%? 33, yeah. yeah. More capacity so it, on it. So what's your warranty then? 25 years on the tank, is two it? year on the parts. So this is in the commercial range. This is the Maxi Geo coil. This has been exceptionally popular with leisure centres, gyms. Uh, everyone's moving towards electrification these days, yeah. so they're moving away from gas-fired okay. water eaters. Now, their coil sizes are almost unmatched. Uh, this 600 litre unit. So this is still an indirect cylinder. This, this is an indirect cylinder. We're not talking thermal store here. No, this is, no. indirect cylinder. This is a 135 kilowatt coil. Wow. On the 1,000 litre, it's a 200 kilowatt coil. So we can transfer that energy much quicker. Yeah, yeah. But also, if you were to, if you were to use this with a uh, gas-fired boiler or oil-fired boiler yeah, or maybe yeah. biomass yeah. Uh, the recovery rates are ridiculous yeah, yeah. so if you can get the boiler power available we can do a thousand litres of water every 10 minutes wow yeah Blimey. yeah it's pretty impressive well, yeah, of course that depends how cold it is coming into the cylinder doesn't yeah it? yeah for but sure that's but your kind of average from a from a recovery rate perspective yeah, you yeah. can do another thousand every 10 minutes um, we've done some fantastic projects with stuff like this, Liverpool Football Club for one. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so yeah, commercial stuff is really going well for us at the moment. Is this foam inside it or is that just... No, this is just a Rockwell. And, uh, so on the, on the commercial products, at the minute, it's a Rockwell insulation. But we're moving towards something more advanced like what we use in the domestic products. But at the minute, in commercial, there isn't a huge demand for a better insulation. There will be. That's interesting. Yeah. 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 They just heat it and use it, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Is it Oso or Oso? You can say it how you want. Well, yeah, but how do the Norwegians say it? Oso. Oso, that's what I thought. 